This marriage will be defined by the way that you strengthen it and grow it from this day forward and forever. Patience will be the lifeblood of your marriage. You will have to be patient with each other, patient with your careers, patient with your family and friends, and patient with God's plan for you. Thanks to my own mother, Proverbs chapter 24, verse 3, hangs on my office wall. It reads, By wisdom a house is built. By understanding it is established. Both of you have enjoyed a long line of parents, grandparents, and great-grandparents that have been solid examples of love, patience, and understanding. Their homes have been established. Today, you embark on designing and building your own establishment. To Mrs. Crane, just a little over 23 years ago, you joined your mother and I on this crazy journey and you provided us with countless memories and blessings. Don't tell your brother and sister, but you will always be my password child. <laughs> A couple of your top qualities are your desire and your ability to nurture young children, as well as understanding the responsibility of caring for the injured and the elderly in their greatest time of need. I know that direct result of having such a loving and caring mother yourself. You and your mother hold a very special bond with one another, and I see all of your mother's positive traits within you. I love you. Adam, I remember the first time Bailey brought you to our home. I broke the ice by asking a few questions about you. I quickly learned that you were going to be high school sweethearts, you worked with your dad at Crane Construction, and that you were a volunteer firefighter and medical first responder on the Kirkwood Fire Department. The idea that you knew how to read a tape measure, and that you could swing a hammer, and that you had an inner desire to help people in their greatest time of need, was everything that I had ever hoped for in a future son-in-law. And I'm proud to call you Lieutenant Crane on the fire department. Helping others is truly in your blood, and you know how significant that is to me and my family. Jen and I can see how well you treat our daughter, and we cannot ask for anything more. Take you, Bailey. I, Bailey, take you, Adam. To be my wedded life. To be my wedded husband. To having to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For richer and for poor. For richer or for poor. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Until we are departed by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Her mother and I. You may kiss your bride. My honor to be the first to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Adam Crane. From the time I knew Bailey, I knew Adam. He was always a part of her heart. She would tell me how she was going to marry him someday and all the dreams she had for them together. Moving to a farm, heavy cows. Many of you have seen Bailey and Adam together for years now, and I think we can all agree that they are meant to be together forever. It is very apparent how happy you two are and how in love you are.
I've never seen two people that are be able to come together and really form bond like they have. And I really strive for that in the future. But Adam, I got one thing to ask from you. Will you please take your hand and put it on top of Bailey's? That is the last time you will have the upper hand in this relationship. <laughs> So with that, so with that, let's raise our glass and take a cheers to the newly wedded happy couple, and for years and years, forever of happiness for them to come. Congrats, you guys. Love you both.